Okay, in this video, I'm going to um, show you quickly how to make a gorge hook. They're not very difficult uh, at all, and they're pretty effective. Uh, and you just have to be cunning, uh, more more smarter than the fish, basically, that you're after. And these are small size, measuring about uh, uh, one and a half centimeters or so. And these are just after a little panfish, little, little um, sunfish. And uh, they're using sinew here and here. Uh, and dogbane here and here uh, leaders and that's just to make it easy to swap out or change out all right I'm gonna walk through making um, a gorge hook what I have here is some some different materials here to begin these are pieces of bone um, various types of bone I think this is from beef beef or pork pork ribs or something like that um, this is from uh, turkey uh, Part of the, I believe it was part of the, the drumstick. Um, you know, very thin, very easily splintered with sharp edges. Um, this is a piece of bamboo here. Um, this very well could be a piece of wood. And just, it, it, the bamboo creates good splint, splinters. Now, bamboo pretty much grows in the tropics. I mean, there's some places uh, in, in the United States where bamboo will grow readily. Um, uh, up north here, it doesn't grow. This is just store bought um, bamboo. Uh, anyways, like I said, you could just use a piece of wood, and any wood would pretty much work, as long as it's dry and hard. Um, I have a cutting tool, this is a piece of chert for making a, a gouge. And then I'm going to make leaders on the hook, on the gorge hook here. And I've got um, two uh, materials for making leaders, and one is um, sinew from the deer tin, from the deer, the hind tendon, uh, and then this is dog, dog bane. And these are just um, uh, right off the uh, the stalk, and I want very thin. Uh, so the uh, sinew tends to get translucent when it's in the water, so it's harder for the fish to see. Otherwise, what they like to do is nibble around um, your bait and not swallow it, which is the way this hook works. Um, and you really have to make your line really thin, um, and so that's why you need uh, uh, some really fine, uh, you know, plant cordage if you're going to use it. Monofilament will work just as well, you know, obviously from a modern standpoint. Um, the fish definitely don't see it. Uh, and they're more, more than likely to take the hook. So this could be an alternative to if you didn't bring your tackle box or you forgot your hook, so you dropped your hooks in the water and you still want to make a day of fishing, well you just make a gorge hook and attach it to your line. Okay, so at an extreme close-up, as you can see, I braided kind of a divot or a gouge in my um, in my splinter here and this is just so that the leader that I attach to it the string attached to it doesn't slip off so pretty self-explanatory there next I tied it uh, where the notch is and I'm using sinew this time and then I'm going to uh, abrade down the ends to the size that I need you gotta make sure that you um, make the gorge the relative size of the mouth of the fish you're after and these are just for little sunnies little bluegills so this shouldn't be very big at all um, so I'm just going to start abrading these ends uh, make them sharp okay using some sandpaper you could use sandstone or rough rock or just even use a pair of scissors to um, snip this at uh, sharp angles and so this is what we have here and I'm just going to measure this out and this is roughly um, a centimeter and a half which is fairly good we want this small okay like I said you want the uh, the hook to be the relative size of the mouth of the fish that you're after uh, and so basically how these work is you want to thread your or form your bait around the hook in this fashion so that it lines uh, that it's a line in alignment along the um, thread here the leader and then that'll hide it and so what will happen is when the fish takes and swallows it it will expand up and open in its throat and it'll catch it like that okay the problem with this though is that um, when you catch fish like that you end up having to pretty much destroy the fish because it's very hard to get rid of it um, out of the throat so um, you want to make sure that you're going to eat what you catch. Some are really small, uh, or they can be probably something really big. Um, so 
Uh, very, very once once you snagged onto your fish with one of these, it's like I said it's very difficult to dislodge it with the, uh, safely from the fish if you're just catching and release. So this is definitely for survival and for um, eating the fish, not just killing them. Okay, so I've got uh, a number of um, gorge hooks that um, alternately have uh, sinew leaders here and here, and then these are dog mane leaders here. Um, and again, I've just finished off with a loop here so that I can attach and detach them from a larger line. Um, and these are just simple overhand, double overhand knots um, tied around. An overhand knot and then another overhand knot just tied around there. That's pretty secure in there. Nothing fancy.